Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amberine and whoa, yes, I'm wearing a yellow scarf on. I'm telling you now, yellow is literally my favourite colour at the moment. Love yellow scarves. I love the yellow shade in the Huda Beauty Corals palette. The little nine shaded eyeshadow palette. Um, and I love putting yellow in my inner corners. I haven't done that today. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Hold on. This is the palette I'm talking about. Let's do that first. This is the Car Obsessions palette. I'm taking that yellow and I'm going to pop it in my inner corners because I love it so much. Oh yeah. I love me a good yellow inner corner. Is this going to be too much though? Is this going to be too much yellow? Is it going to be distracting? No, it should be okay. Okay, yellow inner corner done. I love it. I don't know what it is, but I just love yellow at the moment so much and it's such a happy colour. Love it. Okay guys, let's actually get back to the actual video. So today, I've got an elf haul for you guys. A couple of months back, I hauled these items, basically bought them when there was a massive sale on an elf's website. Um, I think it was like 70% off, something ridiculous, but there were a lot of cheap things and I bought a lot of makeup. So that's what tends to happen when there's a sale. I've got to stop though, I need to learn my lesson. Um, so I bought a lot of makeup and I wanted to show it to you guys before I can use it um, because I like showing like new things um, and taking photos of new things before I've even used it. So I've got a lot of items to share with you guys. And if you enjoy this video in any way, give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you kept up to date, subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this i do a lot of drugstore videos on my channel i believe in drugstore makeup basically i'm not rich that's why but i do a lot of drugstore makeup tutorials and i've got a husband tag coming up soon hopefully and guess what part two of pakistani makeup oh yeah so um I had to kind of like basically get my husband's nerves and make him buy all this stuff before he came here um, so I've got a lot of videos and a lot of content coming up for you guys make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all my videos and know when I'm about to post okay let's get on with the video so everything comes whoops move me camera there everything comes in brown boxes like this boring boxes it's fine don't matter if everything's okay in the box it's fine I've got my invoice oh there's no prices on them how am I supposed to remember what the price is I think I need my phoneage yep this is it so the first thing I'm gonna take out of the box these two products okay so I've got this it's the elf tinted moisturizer SPF 20 sunscreen mm, with aloe cucumber and vitamin A C and E and this is in the shade beige let's open it see what it's like I like the little container it's like a squeezy tube and it's really super thin so um and it has 25 mils which is less than your average millage i'm gonna put it on the inside of my hand because i am wearing minty on this looks like a really good color tint for me actually it's kind of like a watery color don't know if you guys can see that blended it out now Wait, it looks a bit peachy. Oh, it looks quite orangey. <gasps> maybe when I'm tan. Or maybe I could just make myself tan because I'm Asian and my arms and my hands tan faster than everything else. Um, and, <laughs> and you can't tell when you're wearing a scarf on, like the colour difference because your neck is supposed to match your face. But my neck is quite light compared to my face. So, um, because I get tanned quickly. But that's okay. It's quite a liquidy foundation. What is it? Is it um, oh, it's a tinted moisturizer? No wonder why it's liquidy. Then I've got its cousin, which looks exactly the same. This this is the maximum coverage concealer in beige, also, which I'm assuming is going to be dark again. I, normally, people tend to buy like their concealer a little bit lighter than the rest of their face, so they can highlight with it. But um, I don't know what's wrong with me. I wanted exactly the same color as my foundation. And this was also 125. Look how cheap this stuff was. 125. 125. No, sorry, 180. Oh, okay. There's extra, extra packaging to stop it. Oh, no wonder why there's extra packaging. It's so cute. It's tiny. There's 20 mils in here, which is actually quite a lot for a concealer. So, 
oh this seems a lot lighter i actually like the color it's not like oh i love the color of that concealer that's perfect see the foundation was a lot more orange toned this is neutral i love that color yep that's definitely gonna match my face and it looks like a really good concealer like it's covering can you see it's covered my mindy wow i have high high hopes for this can't wait to try it see i'm like that freak that likes to put all the packaging back on my products when really i don't need to that's how i end up not having any space for anything else okay i'm just putting it on the side let's wipe this off that looks so good can't wait to try it okay then eyeshadows eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes okay i have three eyeshadow palettes which look like this i have the california baked eyeshadow palette now i bought this i bought this no i got this for free i got the mad for matte eyeshadow palette which looks like this and this was four pound wow so cheap oh my god i can't even remember i had these bargains when i find out about the sales i find out on instagram funnily enough because i was advertising on there and i always see the advertisements so follow them on instagram and you'll find out about the sale and when it's on wow that looks pretty that looks so pretty like i'm not a huge fan of using matte palettes but because i don't always just put matte eyeshadows on my eyes i like a bit of sparkle um but I have tried it once and I've loved it and I can't wait to use this palette. I really love this shade. Let me swatch it. Oh, it's a beautiful neutral palette. And plus, I've swatched two shades there. That's nice. They're super soft eyeshadows. And I've, Emily Noel has raved about this palette. I'm pretty sure she has. Um, and wow, that's nice. They're so smooth and not even chalky or anything. I can't wait to use that and create a matte look maybe i could do a matte eyeshadow look for you guys let me know if you want that i have this prism eyeshadow palette this palette's in the shade sunset um the palette is called sunset and this was four pound as well and i've heard people rave about these palettes so much and say that these eyeshadows in here are beautiful so i can't wait to try it wow okay so now i know now i know what to do these are all shimmers in here so maybe i could combine this and the mad for matte palette together that's what they look like i love this shade right here this orangey color like why didn't i open the this package and these palettes at the beginning of summer like everything is screaming summer to me okay oh my god i need to switch another one I dropped my phone as well. It's okay. Where shall I swatch these on my arm? They are pretty. You can't even see it. Let me swatch it again. These are smooth and buttery as well. Oh my god, guys. Guys, please focus. Look at those shades. Beautiful. Look how simple the packaging is as well. I really like it. Sleek and simple, and it does come with the mirror as well, which is nice nice it has um those little brush applicators in there too what is it called sponge tip applicators in there i do like to keep those because you never know when you need to put a really light eyeshadow in your inner corners that brush is perfect so please don't throw it away and then this is the freebie palette that i got this was like the mystery gift it's a big eyeshadow palette in california now i have heard emily noel say um if i can remember that these eyeshadows in here are not as good um all of these are shimmery as well so no mattes they're like a dome shape can you see that i don't know how to show you domed eyeshadows so let's swatch them oh they're quite hard domes <laughs> okay they're quite patchy as well on my hands but that's okay i can make it work they might need a bit more like adding there they are they're a bit pa um patchy not as pigmented as the other eyeshadows i swatched but maybe that's because they're baked they might need a bit of building up yeah they would then i have 
some sm um, smudge pots. So I've got one in brownie points. And cruising chick. Let's open it. This is brownie points. Wow. I love the little pot. Okay, that's the shade, brownie points. These kind of remind me of the Maybelline colour tattoos. Oh, they feel much creamier than the Maybelline colour tattoos. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's pigmented, that is. Okay, let's check the other one. Oh, there's a crack in this one. Hmm? Is it already dried up? I hope not. This one looks like it's dried up a bit. Yeah, it does. Oh, no. There's that shade there. That's pretty though. I like it. It's like a taupey colour. The other one's like a nice bronzy brown. And they were £1.80 each as well. Can't wait to use those. Um, what have we got next? We have another smudge pot. But the packaging is different. That's so strange. Where's the smudge pot packaging? So this it's like your traditional old elf style packaging and then they've got this which is the smudge part different packaging though this one is in gotta glow you just gotta glow and it says this smooth gliding gel formula is perfect as a long lasting eyeshadow or eyeliner mm. i don't think i'd use it for an eyeliner though throw the box on the side basically it looks like this it's a nice little champagne color that's not oh now that one is like buttery it's a bit patchy but no that's nice when you blend it out that is nice that is super creamy as well that's already um drying as well on my skin so i think this formula is better than the other ones am i wrong or is that just me but i feel like that formula of that one is better than the ones in the white boxes Guys, if you want me to like do like a makeup, an elf, one branded, one branded makeup look, then just let me know and I'll do it. And how much was that smudge pot? That one was £1.80 as well. So there was no price difference. Weird. Strange. Maybe they're just trying to get rid of the old stock, you know what I mean? Um, and next I have this pop of glitter makeup transformer gel. This soft glitter gel can transform any matte, any matte or glossy texture to a sparkling metallic finish like this is experimental makeup for me using as an eyeshadow liner highlighter or lip color wear alone or on top of existing products to enhance your look such cute packaging um looks like molten like proper gold kind of has like this flat applicator oh wow oh, that is full on like really thin fine glitter that is oh i hope you guys can see that that is beautiful that's just like like to put as an overlay on top of eyeshadow like a glitter overlay i like it I did bronze that was two pound that was it's a shame that the packaging like the actual product doesn't have any name on it it just says the brand elf on it oh it does say gilded bronze at the top on like a tiny sticker but yeah put it on there okay next i have this three in one mascara in very black and if you have a look it shows you the shape of the wand and it reminds me of a very famous mascara that i can't even think of but it's like got a top the top's got a ball on it um three in one lengthening define and volumizing mascara all in one professional mascara that helps lengthen define and volume volumize lashes now i haven't tried any elf mascara so this is going to be fun for me i'm not going to open this yet though because i've got so many mascaras to get through sleek black packaging and again it just says elf on it and very black at the bottom it doesn't say um like what kind of mascara it is i wish it did say it on the actual product so i can throw the box away and remember the mascara is not written on here did i get it for free then maybe i got it for free and i didn't even realize okay then i've got lip products now left and some brushes i have three lip products here hyper shine gloss hyper shine lip gloss that was atp bargain this is in the shade joy and it's smooth gliding brush 
So it's like one of those clicky brush things, isn't it? And the gloss comes out. I'm not going to be here forever. Right, I'm going to put it on this hand. Oh, that is a very sticky gloss, but it's like a purpley colour. Let me apply it on my lips. It's like a lilac lip gloss. Mmm. Not sticky at all. It's really comfortable. Even though the gloss has colour to it, it's not showing up on my lips. It looks like a really nice gloss. Then I've got an essential lipstick in the colour Classy, which is their normal lipstick. Now, normally I hate the package, the container that the lipsticks come in, the normal e.l.f. lipsticks. This lipstick was 64p. It's like cheap plastic, but that's okay, yeah. Oh, I like that colour though. It's like a dolly pinky colour. That's nice, that is. I'm tempted to try it on. It's a bit like a um, satin finish lipstick. And then lastly, oh, this was not a lipstick. This is a wax pencil. And it's just basically a wax pencil. You can put it through your eyebrows. It's clear. It's clear wax pencil. Shall I put it through my eyebrows now? Will it affect my eyebrows though? Like, will it take my eyebrow off? I think you should just set the hairs in place. Yeah, it's just... Oh, that's nice though. It's setting the hairs in place. Without like... Um messing with the colour of the eyebrow pencil that you just wore that's nice that is I like that it's kind of groomed my eyebrows a bit more I like that that's going in my drawer right now that's made my eyebrows look better that is okay and lastly I have three brushes three one two three four five brushes five brushes now I really like the elf little white brushes they're like usually a dollar in America but like they're like a pound here um, a bit more than a pound maybe and uh, I have the smudge brush the eyeshadow brush the this is the base eyeshadow brush I use them I've had these for a long time and they've been quite fine um, sometimes the hairs will come out but that's normal with brushes I've got the defining brush which just looks like it's a little bit angled um, I think that would be great for like putting my um, eyeshadow under my eyes for like kind of defining as it says defining eye brush and that was 80p cheapest chips then I've oh I bought two of them two defining brushes I've got an eyeshadow brush this is like from the black line which is a lot more expensive and this was one pound 80 let me open it and see the difference it's a much larger brush so this is cream eyeshadow brush okay like it's a lot more of a flat brush and it's quite wide I think if you wanted to just sweep one colour all over your eye that'd be nice I wouldn't use it for I don't think I'd use it for cream maybe maybe mm, maybe I could use it with those pots um, and then I have a lip defining brush which is ADP only because I want to be posh and wear my like do my lips with a lip brush which it would take much longer but yeah if I wanted to like you know be more precise with my application yeah this is a highlighting brush and I've heard um, Emily Noel again rave about this in her video in one of her videos and it's basically like a small stippling brush and it is so cute and she says this is lovely for highlighter and it's just gorgeous such a cute brush, I can't wait to use it for highlight. It's kind of flat, but like a stippling brush. Never seen that before, but I think it'd be perfect to apply highlighter. Um, and it's so cute as well, it's tiny, and that was two pound. So, that was everything from my elf haul. Um, sorry, it was a little bit long-winded, I hope it wasn't. Um, hopefully I will have more hauls up for you guys. And if you want to stay up to date for any of my content or any of the videos that I record, then just subscribe. It's free. Um, and leave me your suggestions down below what videos you want to see from me. Just turn on your notification bell if you want to be kept up to date with all the videos that I post. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye.